if that's a tangent, you don't care. If you're afraid that you're gonna get a get a get a get a get a get a you're gonna get a get a get a get a Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I wanna go over what I wore on Thanksgiving because last week's Friday favorites, I filmed that before Thanksgiving. So I wanna share what I wore that day and then also have some other favorites. Overall theme, pretty much warm tones. Again, I feel like I've been into that kind of a lot off and on lately. So that continued again this week. Sparkly, glittery, just those type of things. I really, really liked it. Really like this lip color, really love the formula on it, so I definitely want to share that with you. So, yeah, got some good things to talk about, so let's get to it. On my eyes this week, I was still wearing this a lot, almost every single day. The Studio Makeup On The Go Eyeshadow Palette, I mentioned this last week. I mentioned how much I love it in my BoxyCharm video, which is where I got this. This is just amazing. So if you want more information, check out BoxyCharm unboxing for November, and then last week's Friday Favorites, but I just wanted to mention I did wear this again this week and I just love it. I think it's absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. And even though it's kind of more like, you know, these are more kind of like taupey colors, I feel like this still goes with a warm toned eye look. Now today I didn't use this in my crease, but I did that quite a bit this week. Today I just have my bronzer in my crease, but I have that as my brow bone highlight. And then I have a mix of these two in my outer corner. So I just love this palette. I think it's amazing. You can still get it, you can still get BoxyCharm. I don't know if you can, it's probably past the date, but if you can just get this in general, well, it may not be past the date. I don't know, I'll leave my link. You can check into it if you want it. I would definitely recommend it because I think it's just such a nice quality palette and I can't put it down. So on Thanksgiving on my eyes, I did a little combo of these two. I'm actually just wearing this one today, but I wore this on Thanksgiving with it and I think they go really, really well together. Now I did first do one eye look that was a lot of different glitters from Eye Candy, which this one is too, but I don't know. Something about the combo of what I grabbed just didn't work. So I actually removed my eye makeup and started over. It was looking very kind of Halloween-y. It was too orange and then mixed with my black eyeliner. It just was very Halloween. So just an FYI, I mess that makeup looks all the time too. So I just took that sucker off and started over and did this combo and really, really liked it. So this is the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo, and this is in Margaret. I'm obsessed with these. I now have three of them, and I think they're just amazing. I think they are so, so nice. They're messy, they get glitter on your face. They definitely do, but I feel like once they're there, like once you use the liquid stuff and then you put the glitter stuff on top of it and then you remove the glitter stuff that fell all over your face in the process, once you get it on your eyes, I feel like I don't really notice fallout after that. It's just the process of getting it on there because this little thing is kind of a little bit like, I don't know, scoopy, like it's scoopy shaped. So the scoopy like flicks product everywhere. So that's, you know, a little bit weird, but it's so pretty. I can deal with a little bit weird because a little bit weird in this case equals really, really pretty eye look. And it's very kind of like coppery and warm and just fiery. I mean, what? That's amazing. It just catches the light. It's incredible. It just, it's a statement eye. You know, when you're wearing this, you are going to get asked what is on your eyes because that's incredible. So yeah, that's what I've got on today, but this was the first step. The second step was this glitter that I now have everywhere. So if you get some of their glitters, which I love eye candy glitters, I think they're great and they're super affordable. I think they're usually around $8, but then sometimes they do sales and things like that. I think they're just awesome. So let me just show you. This one's like kind of a, I don't know, it's a gold, but it's kind of like a old gold sort of a look. So anyway, mine is super messy because it comes with the sifter and then it comes with a little like plasticky thing over it. I removed the whole plasticky thing. Don't do that. I don't know why I did that because normally I don't. Normally I like think ahead and just open like one or two little uh, dots or you know openings 
but I removed the whole thing. So now it just gets everywhere. So mine is super messy, at least this particular glitter. My other ones aren't because I thought ahead with those. So those aren't, but this one is messy. That's a tangent. You don't care. Why am I just talking about this? But it's a gorgeous glitter. It's so pretty. I use this with their um, liquid sugar, I think it's called. It's just like a mixing medium basically, but I just like get a little bit of that on my brush, then tap it into the glitter and then just dab it on my eyes and it works great. It just makes it so easy. It layers really nicely with this. I don't know why I didn't put it on today, but just know that they look really, really pretty together. And if you're looking for some good glitters, I would definitely recommend eye candy. For blush this week, this was definitely the standout for me. This is the Clinique Cheek Pop in Ginger Pop. I talked about the Cheek Pops so many times. I just think that they are one of the easiest blush formulas to work with. Like if you are new to blush and it just kind of intimidates you because you're afraid that you're gonna get a get get a get a get a get a you're gonna get a get a get a get a you're gonna get a big blob on your cheeks. I think that these are a great one to learn with, but just in general, they're a great blush because they just build up so nicely, so easily. I've got red lipstick on my finger from trying to avoid it being on my teeth. So don't mind that. Let me just wipe that off or just look at the blush. Don't even worry about that. So back to the blush formula. It's great. It just is one of those that builds on itself really easily, but really nicely. It, it doesn't stick. It's not, it's just easy to blend and it's easy to build up. You can do it more lightly. Um, you can apply less or you can really build it up more, but look how bright it looks there. And then look at it on my cheeks. I feel like it just, I don't know. It looks scarier in the pan and in a swatch than it does on the face. It just is really easy to work with on the face. I do have a highlighter on, which I love. I wasn't gonna mention it, but I think I might have to. I think I'll tell you my highlighter for this week too, my highlighter favorite, because that's what I'm wearing and I did bring it in here with me. It was in my bag, so I will show it to you. Anyway, this is what I have on my cheeks. I'm so annoying this week. I hope that you like this blush because I really like it too. And I hope you like my long discussion about it. The highlighter that I'm wearing right now that I really loved this week, you can probably guess what brand it is because I can't stop with these highlighters. It's Makeup Geek. It's one of the duochrome highlighters. This is in Electrify. I just ordered this one because I can't stop with these. I just think that they are the greatest highlighter formula ever. They're just amazing. So I'm now like obsessing over all the different colors. I got this one. Now I'm obsessing over Celestial. So if you have Celestial, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if it kind of like works with your makeup and if it's, um, I don't know, if it's like easy to make it work for every day. Like, do, are you getting a lot of use out of it if you have Celestial? Because I was pulling out my Anastasia Moonchild palette this week and using the kind of purpley colors in there. And I felt like, it wasn't quite working right, but I don't like the formula of that palette nearly as much as these. So it might've been maybe a formula issue more so than the color. Anyway, that was a tangent. Let me know what you think about Celestial. This is Electrify. This is what I was wearing this week. This is what I have on right now. It's a beautiful golden color. I have it on the inner corners of my eyes too. So it's golden. It's like a, it's so cool. It's a duochrome and it's very yellowy. Like it, I think it's described as like a, what did it say? Like a buttercream yellow um, flashing to it or something. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely yellow. So I kind of have to like be careful how I apply it and just sort of like build it up and not go crazy with it because it can start to look a little bit artistic is how I would describe it. You know, it still doesn't look bad, it's just, a different kind of more artistic look versus like an everyday golden highlight. You know what I mean? So it's still really, really pretty though. Such a cool shade. It seems to kind of flash a little bit like blue, green or something. But really the main thing is it's, it's mostly just a super yellow highlight, but I think it's really cool. And 
Again, the formula of these just can't be beat. For lips this week, on Thanksgiving, I wanted to wear something kind of easy, not super bold or dark, because I knew I'd be eating all day. So I wore this, and I think it was a good choice. I really do like this. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Gel Lip Color, and this is in 710 HD Desert. I did put up a What's New with the Drugstore video on Wednesday, so I will do a card for you guys if you wanna check that out. I talk about these and several other new products because it's exciting. New things are popping up in the drugstore, which I just love. Such a fun time to go like on the hunt and just all the new drugstore goodies coming out. It's a fun time. So anyway, this one is HD Desert and it's a beautiful kind of like, I don't know. It's a neutral color, but it's, Pretty kind of like corally terracotta. So it's a neutral color, but it has quite a bit of color to it. So it's not like a nude nude, and it's not like a concealery nude. It's just more of a neutral shade, is what I would say. Um, but really pretty, has a nice shine to it. Now, not super long wearing. I mean, you know, I ate and this pretty much went away. So it's not like it's super duper long wearing, but it's just really comfortable. And because of the color, it's kind of a low maintenance lip option. So I really like the packaging too. It's like just something fun and different. And yeah, really, really like this. I think it's a nice one. And I think this is a good color to start with because it's so neutral. Now what I have on my lips right now, I really, really like this lip color. Now I wouldn't say that this is a low maintenance lip color by any stretch because it's a moisturizing, glossy red lip, which just in general, in my mind, that equals, I kind of have to like check my teeth a little bit more, have to check kind of the inner corners or the outer corners of my lips. So, you know what I mean? Like just a glossy red in any brand, I'm gonna be checking, but I love it. I love the color of it. I love how it feels on the lips. It's just so nice. Let me tell you what it is. This is by Real Her, and it is in the shade Be Yourself, Be Real Her. I got this through Octoly, and it has a little note. The outside box is really cute, too. It has a little note in each one. It says, thank you, 20% of all Real Her profits go to programs that empower women and girls. So that's awesome. So they are supporting charity. The packaging is really, really pretty on this. It has their logo at the top, the two different colors. I love the, like square shape of it. It has the name here. It's just so pretty. The shape of the lipstick is a little bit like, I found it a little bit hard to apply because it's, I don't know, very flat, very, very flat, but I'm kind of like shaping it a little bit better as I wear it more. But I wore this several times this week and just loved it. They sent me this and then three more colors. So I'll swatch the other three in just a second. But this is the one that I wore this week that I just really, really enjoyed. Now I would recommend for this, um, you know, of course, like I keep kind of checking my teeth and you know, the corners of my mouth, but also I would say before you eat, I would just remove this. Like I would just blot it because it kind of goes everywhere, but it's so comfortable on the lips and you don't have to get the red. You can get a more neutral color. They have more neutral colors. Um, but I just love this red. So I'm willing to kind of like do some extra checks because it's so pretty and the formula is so nice. Let me swatch the other ones. Okay, so this dark shade here is Boss. This one is, I've got this. And the peachy one is Sorry Not Sorry. So really pretty shades. I just really, really like this formula. If you're looking for comfortable lipsticks that feel really moisturizing on the lips, I think you would really, really enjoy these. And then you'd be supporting Charity too. Cool packaging. I'm just super impressed with them. I think they're really, really nice. I'm excited to wear the kind of like pinky color. That one's gonna be a fun one. But they also have other shades as well. So definitely loving this red this week. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.